Week 11, problem eight. Unpolarized line passes through two ideal polarized sheets. The axis of the first is vertical and the axis of the second is at 30 degrees to the vertical. What fraction of light, what fraction of incident light is transmitted? Okay, so I guess we'll start by drawing a picture here. So we got our incident light, we have our filter, then we have our secondary filter. We're gonna extend these lines real quick. Theta. Theta is the um, angle between the two. I guess angle between the axi of transmission. Anyway, we'll write down Malice's Law, which we learned about in the last video. I like saying it because it sounds like um, M-A-L-I-C-E, like malice with, a, with poor intent. All right, so I guess a little background about Polaroid filters. Um, Polaroid filters, they have like a long molecular chain that are all parallel to each other. And when light hits it, if the light is polarized, polarized in the same direction as the long molecular chain, I guess it, the little molecules act like antennas and they uh, absorb and then retransmit this wave and it cancels out waves that are in the same direction as the um, uh, the molecules. So if the wave polarization is in the same direction as the mo molecule, then it absorbs it, acts like a little trans antenna, creates the whole noise canceling effect type thing, and it cancels out the wave. So the more aligned the wave is with the antenna, so to speak, the, um, the more canceled it'll become. So it's the waves that are actually perpendicular to the long strings of molecule I get through. You didn't need to know that, and it's not important in life. Unless, you know, I guess you go into the filter making business. But, so that's the idea. All right, so what happens through the first, so we have our, I'm gonna call this wave initial. Then we're gonna have intensity one, then we're gonna have intensity two. So intensity one is going to equal one half of the initial intensity. Like, what? How did you get that? Well, when you put in, so what happens is you have um, completely unpolarized light to start with. It's going to take out half the light. Um, I think when you integrate, hmm, I think you could do it through integration. We take an integral from zero to two pi of cosine squared theta. I'm pretty sure it gives you one half. And that's the idea, is you have completely uh, random light everywhere uh, issue. So integral from of cosine of x squared from 0, 0, less than x, less than 2 pi. Let's just see if my hunch is correct real quick. And that gives us... Hmm, maybe it's still to pi. Hmm. And that's okay. I'm still going with what I... Hmm. 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 Meh. Not important. It gives you one half. When you go from unfiltered to filtered, it um, gives you one half. So we have our, so then we take our um, light, which is at one half, and then we go through it again. So what we want to find is the intensity of I2. So I2 equals one half I initial times cosine of, was it 30? I'm going to say 30 squared. The cosine of 30, mm, I should know that off the top of my head. Is it one half? I think it's one half. So, I'm going to open up a new Wolfram, because I'll look at that later and ponder over it. Uh, this Wolfram takes too long. Um, cosine of 30. Mm, nope, square root of 3 over 2. Oh yeah, I, I totally should have known that. It's, man. 
I am professionally embarrassed. All right, so cosine of three, uh, cosine of thirty squared gives us yeah three fourths. Yep, point seven five. So we have 0.75 divided by 2 times 0.5 gives us 3 eighths. So 0.375. So in this case, it'll be 0.375 I naught. And they want to ask us what fraction the instant light is transmitted. So to find that then we'd have 0.375 I can do better 7 0.375 I naught over I naught gives us 0.375 There we go. Come over here and bam. The fraction we're going to have is going to be 0 0.375 all right, that's good for that guy. On to problem nine.